Hey guys, welcome to this training video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using transactional email service. Why you should use it, why you even care about using it, and what are the benefits of it using it. For first of all, I just want to say Happy New Year to all you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And those of you who are just watching this for the first time, make sure you click like, subscribe, so you get the latest and greatest all the web programming videos right in your inbox. Without any further ado, so let's get on to uh, this video, which is all about transactional email services. The reason why I think you should look into it, because if you are more than likely when you, on your web server, you are having the web uh, share hosting or your own server or one of those servers where it only allows you to send out or receive X amount of email via your website. If you have not have any experience it before, then you probably will think you're like, well, I don't have to worry about it because I send out an unlimited amount of emails uh, from your website. So in other words, what I mean by that is that if you have a contact form on your website and people want to send you email via that contact form, they could just type in an email their name, email, and the text of the body, whatever they want, and then they just send you the email. No harm done. Simple thing, right? Let's say if your pop, if your website gets popular, and you get more than two, three hundred a day, those contact emails from your website. What will more than likely will happen is you will get a call or email from your web hosting saying, "Hey, your." Website is getting a lot of email traffic, so we would want you to one a upgrade to the next level. Could be more money, or two, if you have your own dedicated IP address, which means you have your own server kind of thing. They're they're gonna tell you. First of all, same speech is gonna be like you're getting a lot of emails. We want you to upgrade to the next level. Which, if you try to install your own web server with the email server incorporated in it. It could cost you a pretty penny, let's just say, speaking from experience. So that's where you want to incorporate your transactional email services. There are plenty of them out there, but let me increase the font here so you can see it better. Good font. Let's go to 20. All right, these are the ones that are most popular one. First, them being SendGrid. And not to worry about it, I will put a link in the description for you where you can find out more information about each one of these services. And another one is Mailgun, which is also a popular one. Mandarin, which is known from the MailChimp company. And this, some people do not know about it, but this is a one badass email transactional services. Reason being is because you can also create your own once you have learned how to create the transactional services by using the script that i'm going to show you and the uh, example for that one will be to a send grade but once you understand the principle you can apply the same uh, mindset or that same mentality to other uh, services as well as as i was saying the spark post is a little complicated at first to get set up, but once you have set up, you can send over 100,000 emails for free every single month. Unlike these other ones, like SendGrid, Mailgun, and even, well, Mandrid is nowadays is all paid. But SendGrid and Mailgun, they will allow you to send up to 10,000 emails per month. However, with SparkPost, you can send 100,000 thousand emails transactional email per month without any cost to you which if you think about it it's like wow it's mind-blowing and another benefit i like to use uh why i personally prefer to use spark ports is because they will allow you to not only send the email right away but also if you want to send the email in the later date in the future let's just say 10 days from now 20 days from now up to 30 days from the initial process of setting up the 
thing. So let me put this in perspective for you. It probably makes more sense because you'll be like, what the hell are you talking about, Mark? So let's just think of a, like a regular email uh, service, right? So let's say if you go to like MailChimp, whatever, and then you have this sign up form on your form, on your uh, uh, website where per- people can type your their name and email, then you, you will get them uh, a regular email for whatever they designed up for it or not another way of knowing is called autoresponder same concept in here where with the trans uh post spark post you can set up your own autoresponder for free so let me put this this whole thing in perspective for you you can create your own email service just like mailchimp you can customize it the way you want it and you can create autoresponder and also you can create your whole web application where you can log into your service, your script, like a better term. Then you can send out an email using this up to 100,000 emails a month. So that is the reason why I absolutely love spark post and i have created my own i know it's kind of crazy but seemed like a really good idea at the time i have created my own version of mailchimp where in the back end side this thing is sending all the emails you could do the same thing with send as well meaning send out emails in the future but the only limitation with this one is you can only do up to five days i think as of as of this recording and with mail gun is like i, I want to say 10 days and mandarin one i don't know to be honest i never really used it so can't speak for that and then obviously there is the beast of all asw which is something similar to spark post but if you want to look into it you could look into that way as well but what i want to do is i want to show you the uh, code that we will be using and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to send out a test email and let's see what happens so let's look at the code so let me minimize this and this is the class that i have included in the if you click on the link below you can download this class so you can include it so basically this class is called simple sendy hence for send grid and i just include it at the top of the page right here and then i'm going to send out an email from this account and then to this email and then the subject will be the email sent whatever the time frame is at the time and then i can send out a html uh, body contact like in here or i could send out a regular plain text content in here and then in order for me to use it i need to get the api key which i'm not going to go into it but if you sign up for this send grid account you will be able to get that same api key fairly easy they guide you through it. it's on the left hand side you can't miss it so it's simply you just click a button you give it a name and then you have your api key and then all you really do is just put your api key in here and then you will call a function it's called mailer and this one takes uh, four parameters first one is the from email last one next one is two where you're gonna send it to just like your regular uh, mail php function subject and the content of the email and then what i did was just set it to d variable and then i what happens behind scenes is like in the class if it's successful the status is successful then it's called it sends successfully otherwise if the status is error it's going to throw out an error message saying it failed and then gives you whatever the error message is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video for a second and then I'm going to put in my uh, API key in here because I don't want you guys to see it and use it, obviously. Duh. And then what we are going to do is we are going to test it out in the XM uh, browser and see what happens. So I'm going to pause it now and then fill in the API key now. 
All right, I put in my API key and now I'm gonna go to my browser here. I'm signed on to my email and if I refresh it, there's nothing in there. So I'm gonna open up my XAMPP and in the folder, just to show you, I have, let me minimize this so you guys can see all these files. So I have my index file, which is this, then the simple send uh, class in here and then the icon thing and then then H HD access so let me just show you what this HD access file looks like it's nothing really special if you have pretty much what it does is is like hey grab anything so actually I'm not even gonna go into it because it's really not relevant to this so I'm gonna leave it alone but nonetheless point being is this is the file where the class is at and then this is the file that we are we have our body of the text, which I just explained to you earlier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my uh, Apache admin. So it's going to open up in localhost because I have it in the main directory, exam, htdocs. So anything in here, when you type in localhost, is going to execute it. So index is where the file is at. So I'm going to open it up and let's see what happened. And... As soon as it opens up, it executes the class and then it says it's sent. So let's go in here and then like voila. So right now today is Sunday, 2017, January. Time is 9.29 p.m. And if I open this up, this is the text. So this is just a test. The link is called with Mark. Thanks. Yada, yada, yada. So if I refresh it again, just to show you, same code is going to go in there. And it's fairly quick. During my testing with other services, this has to, in my experience, this is probably the by far the quickest and the easiest to use. So I refreshed it. I go in here. And then I hit refresh. And then voila. Literally, it's like matter of less than 10 microsecond or something like that. So there you go. So, so there you go. So these are the ones are other services companies that you can use a transactional one. But like I said, no plug. I'm not getting. I'm not affiliated with Spark Post or anything like that. It's just a good company. Uh, if you want to look into it, you should definitely look into it. It's a little complicated at first to set up. But once you have that set up, you can do all kinds of different things. You can create a web hooks where if someone opens up the email, you get a notification saying this person opened it and from so on and so forth. So with that said, I will conclude this video. So hopefully you guys found a value to using a transactional email services. And until next time, happy coding.